This problem says a quality control engineer notes a relationship between the amount of chemical added to a batch and the final concentration for the chemical in the final product. If four grams is added into a mix, what would the final concentration be? Assume a linear relationship. Now this is a classic problem that NCES will throw at you with a lot of noise to distract you. This problem is telling us to assume a linear relationship, but it's not asking us to determine what the relationship looks like in terms of a regression line. There's no indication that we need to be doing that. Instead, it's giving us a value of a chemical being added and asking us to determine what the concentration would be. Remember, the linear regression line helps us relate a cause and effect relationship within the data that is presented to us. Where the independent variable is the cause and the dependent variable is the effect. In this problem, the amount of chemical added is the independent variable. And the concentration is the dependent variable. This problem will also show you why I like to use the two variable statistics option in our calculators. Doing so will make this a super simple and quick problem to carry out. Where on the other hand, if we did it by hand, well, you already saw how long it took me to do one of the more simple problems. But if you decided to go forward on the exam on this type of problem, well, you might as well plan on running out of time sooner than you expect to. So let's hack it and let's run through the steps. The first step is to activate the data table so we can store the data we are given in this problem statement. To do this, first hit the mode button to come to a screen that looks similar to this. Again, here you're going to select option three for statistics and we'll be brought to a menu that looks similar to this. Here you will press 2 to select option 2 for A plus BX. We now want to input all of our data points. This is where you will fill in all your data points as we did in the previous problem. Same deal. So let's start off with our first X data point, which is 2. Input that into your calculator and press the equals button. This will take you to the next data line for the X column where you will input the remaining X data points as we just did and press the equals button. Once all your data points are input into the X column, hit that right button to switch over to the Y column. And because you're on the seventh data line, you will need to press the down scroll arrow once and that will take you all the way up to the first row of the Y column input all of the values just as we did with the X values and once you're complete hit the AC button. We can now define the variables of our regression line. With all of our data points input into our calculator again we're just going to let it do our dirty work. We're going to let it save us a ton of time. So to do this click the shift button and the one button to activate the stat distribution functionality which is indicated in yellow. You'll be brought to a menu that looks similar to this. Press 5 for regression and you'll be brought to a menu again that looks something like this. Again all of our data is stored in our calculator and it's here that we can get all of our variables, all our metrics, that we need to solve this problem correctly. We are also able to solve for a certain independent or dependent value 